So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 jogger methods in GTA 5 online to get some cool colored joggers. But before we continue on with today's video, man, shout out to these three people right here on the screen for simply subscribing to the channel. Let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into today's video. Let's get it, bro. Also, real quick, this video is completely for educational and entertainment purposes only. Everything in this video doesn't actually give you any advantage that is illegitimate in GTA. It's completely legit and it's only for cosmetic uh, purposes only basically yeah everyone nah, I don't even know let's just get you to the video so the only real requirement for this method is you guys do need a mobile operation center and if you don't know what that is it's basically that big black truck hey yo that big black truck that comes with the bunker you guys know that one that big mobile operation center it's got the big trailer but anyways though you guys do need a mobile operation center and you do need the work dispute mission unlocked now to actually unlock this mission you need to obviously as you guys can see i'm going to the computer in the back of my truck you guys will see the work dispute mission you guys need to complete i think it's 25 bunker resupply missions or something along those lines now if you don't want to do that or let's say you just don't have an moc or you don't have the mission don't worry you still can get the black and red joggers you just will need someone else to start it for you and also unfortunately this method is not solo you need at least one person to help you but this is where using the comment section comes into your advantage just drop a comment down below and there's always going to be people in the comment sections looking for people to do this glitch with basically so you guys can easily find some friends in the comment section and just help each other out get these joggers and stuff like that if you guys want you could also join the discord server which i'll link in the description below there's like 4,000 people in there i think and lots of them try to do these sort of glitches so you're going to be able to find people quite quickly in there i'd say but definitely use the comment section it's probably going to be quite active for a while so yeah i'd say use the comment section and also once again shout out to my guy google for helping me record this video because obviously if my guy wasn't joining up this mission right here hey there's no way i could have even made this video for you guys so shout out to my guy google yeah man basically you want to go to the computer in the back of your moc and you guys want to go ahead and go start up the work dispute mission now it is the last mission on the tv thing the computer screen you just want to scroll down and basically what the mission is you get these oppressor mark ones and you're supposed to go and do the mission i've actually never really done the mission properly but what you actually need to do is you guys want to fly out of this plane and you want to fly to your apartment so don't even worry about the mission at all you don't need to complete it and also what i would do is put the mission on easy mode so you get as many team lives as you want because for this glitch or not glitch sorry it's a method for this method you do actually need to go ahead and take the easy way out or basically blow yourself up so i'm gonna show you guys what you need to do so once you guys are in the mission you want to fly over to your apartment and if you guys do have a friend helping you just tell them that they don't need to do anything and if they do want to get the joggers as well i'll show you guys what you need to do for that it's a really really simple method honestly you guys will be able to get it first try it is so easy to do so once you guys are at your apartment you obviously know there is a blue circle at your apartment to enter it what you guys want to do is just get a rocket uh, rocket launcher out or a sticky bomb or whatever and now you guys want to go to that blue circle and simply just stand inside of it and then just blow yourself up literally just like this it's so easy now if you guys want once you guys have done this your friend can do the exact same thing as you but anyways once you guys have blown yourself up inside this blue circle you can now run back to your apartment and for some reason it's just gonna let you walk inside your apartment just like this and yeah that's basically all you need to do once you guys are in your apartment you can just go up to your wardrobe and then just save this outfit bro it's that easy man it is literally that easy it's the easiest method in gta man and once again it is a method it's not a glitch it's a method in gta and it doesn't harm anything man it's so easy to do so as you guys can see man we are going into our apartment right now and all you have to do is just go up to the wardrobe and press right d-pad and then go ahead and just press square or whatever and save this outfit into any slot man any slot i mean yeah that's really all you need to do now once you guys have done this you can literally just leave the job but if your friend wants to do this get him to do it before you leave the job obviously because if you leave the job it is a two-player job so it's just gonna end the whole mission and obviously bro's not gonna be able to do it but yeah if your friend wants to get the other joggers and by the way if you're wondering how do you get the red joggers because obviously in the footage i'm getting the black joggers if you want to get the red joggers you either need to be the second person to join the mission or the uh, or the fourth person ah, i can't even speak the fourth person to join the mission i to get the black joggers you need to be the host which is obviously the first person to join or the third person to join so if you guys get what i'm saying the way the joggers go it's like black red black red you know first second third fourth black red black red that's how it goes 
If you guys want to get red joggers, you got to be second or fourth to join. If you want to get black joggers, you have to be the host or the third person to join. That is how you guys can get the both different colored joggers. Now, if you're wondering, bro, I'm the host, but how do I get red joggers? What you obviously need, probably need to do is get someone else to start the mission up for you. And that is how you guys can get those red joggers as well. And you just do the exact same method. And it's really as simple as that, man. Now, obviously, I've got to show you guys proof this is a real method. And I do now have these black joggers, as you guys can see right here. And now these are real black joggers there are some fake glitches where you don't actually get the black joggers you get the black heist pants and then you can't even change the shoes or anything but keep in mind these are the real black joggers man as you guys can see look at the footage right now boom i can change the shoes some of the shoes don't work for some reason but who cares they're probably all the ugly ones anyway as you guys can see look these shoes work perfectly fine and now we got some bright pink boots man but that's really all you guys need to know for this glitch man it's very simple I mean, not glitch, it's a method. I keep saying glitch, I'm just so used to saying glitch. How to get red and gray joggers. I'm gonna try to go through this glitch as quick as I can, not gonna lie. All right, so to start with this glitch, you need a facility and you do need a friend to help you with this glitch. You wanna come to your facility and you guys wanna go to the, the, I don't even know what it's called, but you know the place where you start the heist and everyone sits down and like this place right here. You guys wanna pull up right here. Now you need this mission called Escort ULP and yeah you need the mission called Escort ULP. Anyways just simply start up the mission and make sure you set it to hard difficulty and then invite your friend. Now you guys when you load into the mission you'll get an option to choose the outfit that you want to wear. Now you simply go ahead and choose the grey or red joggers it just depends on what you want obviously. In the footage I think I chose grey yeah I chose grey. And you guys want to go ahead and load into the mission. Now make sure it is on hard difficulty make sure it's on hard difficulty alright. If you didn't do that, then it's just not going to, I mean, it probably might still work. I don't know, but just put it on a hard difficulty, all right? Anyways, load into the mission, and from here, just blow yourself up straight away in GTA 5. Not, don't do it in real life, all right? Just, you know, take the easy way out in the game in GTA 5. And once you do this, you guys will respawn. It's going to put you up in the clouds first. But what you want to do when you are up in the clouds, you don't want to click anything and then just tell your friend to press X to continue. If you're on Xbox, it's going to be A, but just press, tell your friend to press the button that says continue. Once he does this, you just want to, you just want to, don't press anything, alright, don't press anything. And once you guys have done this, you'll see a little loading screen thing in the bottom right corner, like a little gold circle spinning around. When you guys see that, you want to disconnect your controller. Now for the Xbox players, I'm pretty sure you guys have to take out your batteries or something like that. I don't even know bro, but yeah. For the PlayStation players, just go ahead and simply disconnect your controller. You guys should know how to do that. You just go to your uh, interaction menu on PlayStation and then just click on the controller icon, click disconnect. And once you have done that, you guys want to sit on the disconnected screen for like 20, 30 seconds. It depends if you're on new gen or old gen. If you're on new gen, it really doesn't take that long. If you're on old gen, you guys know how the loading screens be like on that bro. But basically, the game is still going to go on while you have this screen open. But you just want to stay on the screen. And when you guys have loaded back into the mission, you guys just want to go ahead and load into the mission. Uh, just turn your controller back on. And then you guys will be inside the mission. Now, if you're wondering, how do I know if the glitch worked? And how do I know if it didn't? If it didn't work, you guys will just be in the mission like normal. But if you guys did hit the glitch right and get the timing right, you'll be inside the mission and you'll have nothing on your screen. Like, you won't have a mini map. You won't have nothing popping up and yeah all that sort of stuff so you guys want to make your way to any ammunition store right now make your way to any ammunition store and from here go up to this little thing in the middle and you guys want to go ahead and purchase a rebreather or an earpiece it doesn't even matter anything like that and that's just going to save the outfit now from here what you want to do is just tell your friend to close his application and yeah isn't that is why it is important you actually get someone you can talk to and do this glitch with if you're wondering how do i find someone just drop a comment down below if you don't have anyone to help you drop a comment in the comments man someone will probably be down to help you guys out and yeah you just want to tell them to leave the game and when, once they do leave the game you guys want to join a random person on your friends list and if you're wondering i don't have another friend to join just wait until your friend loads back onto gta and then join him that is what i did in the footage so you guys can do that anyways once you guys join him you'll load into a session and you'll see that you still have the outfit on with the gray or red joggers and it's literally as simple as that let's go ahead and move on to the next glitch so to start off with this method you will need to go down in the description of the video and bookmark the job for whichever joggers and helmet you guys want now there's only one unfortunate thing about this glitch and that is as you guys can see it is only for pc which is honestly quite annoying i know a lot of my viewers are on console and obviously 
like a lot of the GTA player base is on console. But yeah, the only way you guys can actually get this is from uh, playing on PC. So if you guys are on PC, man, it's your lucky day. You guys can get the orange, purple, green, pink joggers and everything like that if you guys are on PC. But sadly on PS5, Xbox, all that sort of stuff, you can't actually, you know, get this job to work, which is quite sad. And yeah, it's really just like that. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just how it is, I guess. Anyways, man, to continue with the glitch, it's basically like all the other glitches. You just want to bookmark the job that is in the description and then restart your game and simply start it up from your bookmark section. It is a last team standing uh, job. Now, you do need someone to help you with this job as well. So if you can try and find someone, if you want to help each other out, you can easily just ask in the comments down below for someone to help. There's probably someone that is looking in the comments, you know, right now. And, you know, you guys can easily help each other out with this glitch and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, once you guys load into the mission, you will be on an aircraft carrier and you just want to equip any accessory and then simply pull up your phone and quit the job. And now you guys are probably wondering, why is it snowing in the footage? And that is because this footage is actually from uh, Christmas time 2023. Now, I haven't actually updated the footage since then, but there's really no need to as the glitch still uh, works exactly like how it is and yeah i honestly don't think this glitch will get patched anytime soon because it has been working for about five years i think it's been three to five years it's been you know a decent amount of time so it's not going to get patched anytime soon unless i've just jinxed it but yeah it's pretty much easy as that but yeah, once you guys have basically equipped an accessory such as a pair of gloves or a uh what do you call it an earpiece you guys can simply pull up your phone and leave the job and if you guys are wondering why does my character not have the helmet and that's basically because I accidentally messed it up. So I'll show you guys some extra footage here of me actually getting the green joggers and green helmet. Because for some reason, well, I know why I did it. Because when I loaded into the mission and I went to go put in an accessory, I accidentally, I think I equipped a, a rebreather or something like that. And it actually deleted the helmet. So yeah, don't do what I did and you'll be sweet. So for the final method, I'm going to show you guys how to get the orange and purple joggers. It's very simple and I'm going to show you guys how to do this as quick as I possibly can. So you guys want to go in the description of today's video, bookmark the job for whichever platform you guys are on. Once you guys have done that, restart your game, then go to your bookmark jobs, go to last team standing and start up the one called Power Play VII. Start that up. Once you load in, you do need to invite another player. So simply invite at least one other player and then go ahead and start the mission. If you guys are on the host team or if you're the host, you'll be getting orange joggers and orange helmet. If you guys are the second player to join or on the other team, you guys will get purple and yeah, it's really as simple as that. So you can get orange and purple and it's pretty cool. So you guys simply want to invite a friend and then go ahead and start up this mission. And once you load in, all you have to do when you load into the mission is open your interaction menu, go to style or sorry, I don't even remember, go to appearance, go to your accessories and just put on an accessory. So you guys can put on an earpiece. I just put on a pair of gloves because then that doesn't mess with the outfit at all. So go ahead and put on a pair of gloves and then simply pull up your phone and just quit the job. Or you guys could just leave the job through your interaction menu or whatever, uh, through your pause menu. You guys could do that. And once you load back into online, you will still have the outfit on your character and it's literally as simple as that. Just go save it at a clothing store and you guys are done with the glitch. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you all in my next video, man. Let's get it, chat. Yes, sir.